This is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to put the T-Mobile G1 Android form through our usability speed tests. Now, the first test is from uh, the standby position, opening email, contacts, and calendar applications as quickly as possible. Now, this has, uh, you can customize shortcut keys, so the fastest would be using those. All right, ready, here we go. Calendar, email, contacts. Okay, good. <coughs> Next test is from home screen. Opening a third party application buried within the interface, such as Google Maps. Now, I don't have it on the home screen, that would be cheating. So, here we go. Ready, go. Actually, there's a faster way to do that. Let me try that again. From the home screen. There you go. Much better. Android does support searching through programs with that program drawer open. So that looks pretty quick. Now, the third test is opening a favorite from the home screen. Now, you can put favorites on the home screen directly, so that's possible to speed up this test, but we're going to do it through the browser because you may have tons and tons of favorites. So, ready? Go. Menu, bookmarks. Now, whether you can't switch. There it is. So the bookmarking listing does not support searching with the keyboard. Uh, the fourth test is playing music by a specific artist. So from our home screen, ready, go. No, all right, start over. Ready, go. Music. I need artists. Now, the weird thing is you can't play everything from that artist when you search for them. You have to go and select an album. So let's show that. See, say I want to play all of his songs. That's not an option here. Next, we're going to add a new contact. So contact. There we go, and next is how quickly can we send an email to that contact. So I'm going to I'm going to do it through Gmail. There you go. Um, it didn't recognize that there was a contact there. Turns out our last test is a little more difficult because Android doesn't want to search for John Doe's last name in either the email or Gmail applications. So we're going to have to type by the first name and delete all the other ones so that you don't have any John email addresses for you. 
Alright, here we go. Gmail. mistake there, but you see it worked. Um, no kind of text prediction for the keyboard there, so that took about as long as it would normally take on a regular keyboard, and we had to use these little buttons. But that's it for the usability speed test.